Hi guys, so today I'm going to do empties video, um, products that I've sort of used up in the last kind of month or so. Uh, this has been requested for quite a long time, but I've actually taken this long to actually use enough products to show you. As you know, I have kind of like far too many skincare and makeup products, so it takes me a long time to kind of get through them to actually finish anything. Um, so yeah, these are just a few products that I've used up in like the last, yeah, month. Um, and I'll just kind of go through if I like them, if I'll buy them again, and if I won't. So, um, first of all is Biozerma Creolin H2O um, Makeup Remover. Um, and this is one of the, the Micellar... Is it Micellar? I got told off last time I said my clear. So I just won't say anything at all. It's one of the makeup removers that kind of dissolves... Um, you know, your, your makeup, it just kind of really gets rid of it so easily, I'm sure you've all heard about it. Um, this is my second bottle, um, absolutely, I love this stuff so much, it just, it's uncomparable. I never used to take my makeup off before I cleanse, I used to just, you know, go straight in with like a cleanser or my Lizelle cleanse and polish. And, you know, th you just end up using too much cleanser, you have to do it twice to get like the makeup off then to cleanse your skin. So, I actually kind of just take a little bit of this on the cotton wool pad, um, I just use it to take off, you know, the majority of my makeup, um, and then again once I've cleansed, just to take off my eye makeup because I just found nothing else will get mascara off as good as this does. So I'll definitely buy it again, although it is ridiculously hard to get hold of. You have to kind of either live in France or be super rich because <laughs> eBay people just charge a ridiculous amount for it. Um, but yeah, I will be buying that again, and I need all one actually because I have nothing left. It's really sad. Um, second product is a Lizelle one, uh, this Instant Skin Boost Tonic, Instant Boost Skin Tonic, um, and this is kind of like their version of their toner, um, and I, I love this, I've had this one for a while actually because I kind of, I kind of go through phases of getting loads of cleansers and then I'll buy loads of toners and loads of moisturisers and I kind of have phases of liking different types of product, so um, I bought loads of toners quite a long time ago, so I've been trying to like, use them all up in stages. And this one I use quite sparingly because it's lovely, it, it's really soothing on the skin, it's got a really lovely smell and it just just refreshes your face. I, I don't really notice like a tightening of pores or you know too much with this one, but it's, it's really beautiful and it just it does make your skin feel refreshed and kind of soothe. So um, I will buy that one again when I've finished up the rest of my toners. Um, I need to do like a project 10 pound or something, I literally have too much stuff, it's ridiculous. Um, okay, so this is a body scrub, this is Soap and Glory Breakfast Scrub. This smells amazing. Again, I know I must, I always go on about how something smells, I just tend to buy things because of their smell, which is pretty bad, but this is just, a, oh, it's the best smelling body scrub ever. Um, it's kind of like, what's it got in it? It's got oats, shea butter, um, bananas, almond and honey extract. But it, it sort of smells like coffee and toffee, sort of like a caramel latte or something. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's like just really invigorates your skin. Like it's a really good scrub as well. So it's it's moisturising, but it's not one of the ones that leaves residue on your skin. So it kind of you know really gets off any like dead skin, leaves your skin really smooth. Um, but it doesn't leave like a sticky residue, which I really like. So I'll buy that again. I actually think I have one in the cupboard <laughs> hanging around that I bought at Christmas when it was on offer. So yeah, I do like that. Um, next one is a makeup product, and it is the only makeup product I have here. So <laughs> it's really hard for me to use that makeup. Um, but this is the number seven exquisite curl mascara. It's one of the ones with the kind of bent wand, which I do like because I do find they kind of make it a lot easier to get that nice fanned out look of your lashes. This isn't. I don't think it looks like this anymore. I think it's now bright pink, which is cool. I think number seven would like repackage all their products. Um, but yeah, I do really like this, the effect it gives, it takes a while to build up, it kind of, you have to sit there and sort of, you can just have one coat of this, but it will give you like a real wispy, kind of separated, defined lash, which is nice, but it's not what I particularly like, I like a big full lash. Um, but if you sit there for kind of like ten coats or so, this just looks amazing, I absolutely love it, so if I'm going out I tend to use this one. Um, but the only thing I don't like about it is it kind of, it smudges under the eyes. It, for most people it probably wouldn't, but for me, I have kind of really eye oily eyelids and even if I have a primer on or something like that, mascara tends to kind of end up down here. So, um, this one doesn't really stand the test of not smudging, but um, I wouldn't buy it immediately, I wouldn't rush out because I'd you know, run out of it, but I do like it. I mean, if I've got like a number 7 voucher or something, I'm sure I'll pick up another one of those. Um, hair product, this is the Boots. Build Up Remover Expert Shampoo, and now this is kind of one of those clarifying shampoos that absolutely takes every bit of 
built up product out of your hair and as I tend to use quite a lot of products in my hair I do find kind of every week you know two weeks or so it does feel quite limp it's not dirty you can't notice any you know, like grease or anything it just doesn't do what I wanted to do it's very flat and quite heavy so um I've been using this sort of like uh, once a week just to kind of really refresh it really clarify it they are quite stripping for your hair these sort of shampoos I know um Bumble and Bumble do one obviously like their Sandy shampoo which is quite uh, famous I think um, but yeah the Boots one is just as good I think it just really clarifies your hair really gets rid of any excess like build up product um, you know if you only use this sort of like once a week it's not going to do too much damage and I always put a good conditioner on just on the ends you, you don't need too much conditioner if you use this because then that sort of like defeats the object um, but um, yeah I would definitely buy a skin and it's like three pounds so really good um, Another number seven product, this doesn't really count as a product but I've used it up so I'm just kind of like clinging to anything I could. Um, pack of wipes, I actually quite like these wipes. As wipes go, you know, they all tend to be pretty much the same but these have a little like closing thing so they kind of stay like moist, I guess, um, rather than the little peel off sticker ones. And um, I just find they're really good actually, they take off most of my makeup, um, you know, as wipes should. So yeah, I'd probably buy them again. They're quite expensive, they're like seven quid, so a bit too much for wipes. Um, a couple of serums. I have three serums here, I seem to go through them quite quickly. Um, this is the Caudalie Venosource SOS Thirst Quenching Serum, and it's just a really kind of like thin, lightweight, hydrating serum. So I do find, although I have oily skin, I get I, I do get dryness and tightness sometimes if I don't moisturise properly. But at the same time, I can't really use too much of a heavy moisturiser in the day because it will... You know, come through my makeup so I like to use something like this which hydrates your skin but it hasn't barely got anything to it so it, it gives you that like um it quenches your skin's thirst but it just uh, is really light so um I would buy that again but it's, it's I don't know it's quite expensive I think it's about 19 pounds I'm not sure but um yeah I did I did use this and then I bought this one in replacement because I didn't quite want to buy that this was slightly cheaper um and this is the Aven similar one a smoothing hydrating serum and it's pretty much the same thing actually, the way it feels, the texture of it does the same thing to my skin and this one's just a little bit cheaper and I do like, I mean both of them are lovely brands um, but this one's just a little bit more easy to get hold of so I would buy this one again and I would buy this one again too. I do actually have a third serum as well and this is an overnight one and it's the um, Optimum Swiss Apple Skin Renewal Serum, this is from Superdrug and this one was quite like raved about probably a year ago, year and a half ago, which is when I actually bought this, so this one's been around for a while. <laughs> I do actually kind of use my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair now as my nighttime serum, so this one kind of gets neglected, but I do sort of take it away with me if I'm going away and I don't want to pack my big Estee Lauder one, and it's really lovely. It it does it has the same sort of effect, probably not quite as noticeable, but it does like renew your skin, really refresh it. You put this on and wake up in the morning and your skin's kind of like plumped and just looks a lot more glowing and radiant. Um, so, you know, if you're on a budget and you can't quite reach the staggering heights of Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, then this is a really good one to try. And I probably would buy again. Okay, so my next product is a cleanser, and it's probably quite a big deal that I've actually used a cleanser up because I have so, so many. They just never get to the bottom. Um, but yeah, this is the Purity one from Philosophy. It's only a mini size, so it wasn't too hard to use. Um, but I, I use this a lot with my Clarisonic. Oh, I did used to, but then I sort of, another cleanser took over, as, you know, it does. I never stay loyal to one thing for long. Um, but I do really like this, but then I kind of, there was a lot of controversy about it. I did a post on this, kind of saying, I how much I loved it, really liked it, how good it felt on my skin and what it did, which I, I do still find. But then a lot of people were telling me that it's got some really bad sort of chemicals in it, that it's not good for your skin and it's not the best thing to use. So that kind of like turned me off a little bit, but, um... I do still like it and I do use it and I would buy a big one actually, I think. Um, but you know, you just gotta look, you know, the pros and cons of that. And if, if you actually believe in all that sort of thing then, you know, but I would recommend trying it in just like a little sample as well, isn't gonna hurt too much. Um, yes, yeah, so that's that one. Okay, my last two products are from the same range from Boots and this is the Vitamin E Night Cream and Facial Oil. And the Vitamin E range is one of their kind of like, you know, less expensive, um, ranges that they do, like the cucumber one and the sensitive one, but this I really like, I, I do like um, vitamin E products a lot, like the Body Shop have a really good range too, um, but this one is just, um, you know, really cheap and cheerful little moisturiser and facial oil, and this is actually the first ever facial oil that I bought, um, I have quite a lot now, more than I need, but this one I found was just really good, you know, it, it moisturised my skin, plumped it up, pretty much did everything that I 
all my other ones do. Um, it doesn't have quite a nicer smell as some of the ones with the kind of the plants and the botanicals and things in it. Um, but it's just a really, if you want to try out facial oil to begin with and you you don't want to quite invest in something that's a little bit more expensive, you just want a really cheap one. This was about £2, I think, so, you know, it's not going to hurt the bank too much. Um, and I just found that it was, it really made a difference to my skin, so I would buy that one again, um, just to kind of like have, maybe take it travelling, that sort of thing. Um, and the night cream as well, really similar, just kind of really hydrates your skin and you sort of feel a bit of a difference because it's got that vitamin kind of E in it. I think it, it just, you notice it more, you know, from your skin, but it's just a really good moisturiser um, at the end of the day. So I would buy this again just because they're so cheap and just like easy to have around. Um, yes, yeah, so that is everything. Um, not a lot actually, nothing really exciting. It does take me a while to use up products, so I might try and do another one of these videos when I've used a few more things. Um, but that could be a while, <laughs> you never know. So yeah, I hope you enjoy that guys, and I'll speak to you soon.